In this sketch, we're talking about the greatest of all blood vessels, the aorta. And what better representation of this great vessel than a great majestic oak tree, studded with a tree fort, of course. Specifically, we're going to explore this mega vessel right at its origin. The aorta begins immediately after the aortic valve in the heart as the aortic root, bringing freshly pumped blood superiorly as the ascending aorta, just like this ladder will take you upwards to the next level of this tree fort. And remember those A-shaped rungs. They're pointing upward for ascending, but also for something else that we'll get to at the very end. The right and the left main coronary arteries immediately come off the aorta here, so close to the valve that the leaflets actually block the coronary ostia when the valve is open. These two lovebirds and their crowns, you know, like coronation crowns, should remind you of the coronary arteries, and their floating hearts should remind you that the coronary arteries supply the heart. The ascending aorta is relatively short and transitions into the aortic arch, which arcs dorsally, or towards the back, and towards the left, just like this arched bridge is doing, to connect the ascending and descending parts. Recall that the aortic arch contains baroreceptors and chemoreceptors to monitor blood pressure and chemical composition sensed through the vagus nerve. To help you remember, we've dangled a barometer off the side of the bridge. You know, you'd have something to monitor the weather when you're in a tree fort. Uh, uh oh, <laughs> looks like Jim the octopus is trying to escape. That's what you get for keeping an octopus in a tree. The aortic arch also gives off three very important arteries. The first of these branches is the brachiocephalic artery, also called the innominate artery. We've symbolized this with a breaking branch and a cephalopod. This is importantly not a paired structure and comes off of the right side of the aortic arch, as if any other cephalopod could be as great as Jim the octopus. Note that we're talking the right side here, but you may notice that the breaking branch and octopus are on the left of the bridge. This is an important distinction, because when you're looking at the patient, their right is on your left, and we always discuss anatomy as if you're looking at the patient, 